Hello, 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 and welcome to another edition of The Idiot's Guide to Identifying Iron Cross Second Class. And in this episode, we have Franz Petzl, who also goes by the PKZ number 120. And as usual, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And for this episode, as mentioned earlier, we are going to present the beautiful Iron Cross Second Class by Franz Petzl. Let me introduce one of the identifying features of this Iron Cross, which is, as seen in this part of the video, a very thin jump ring. Of course, this is not unique because it is also found on the Iron Cross Second Class by Maker 15. And like Maker 15, it has that feature which distinguishes it from the others. And talking about unique, here is the feature of this date that makes this unique, which is this number three. Apparently there's two types of core for this maker and this is the core type A or core type one. Core type two uses the design by maker number four or Steinauer and Luck. Core type one, we have this, this tank three that can be found with this maker's core. This can also be found on the reverse of the cross, as you can see in the orange circle to your right. Another distinguishing feature, which I mentioned earlier, apart from that really thin jump ring, is an oval mark on the 12 o'clock arm to indicate where the jump ring is supposed to be placed. In this example, that comes from my collection, the jump ring is a little bit off from this oval mark, so it can clearly be seen, as you can see, right there being pointed to by that orange arrow. So here we are with a comparison between number 15 and number 120. As you can see, they have very similar jump rings, but they're both thin and quite large. However, the distinct difference between the two is that number 120 has that oval where you can place your jump ring. 15 does not seem to have that. And here, is the front or the reverse and the back or the reverse which clearly shows the unique threes found on the dates of 120 as well as the thin jump rings and that oval shape that can be found to delineate where you put your jump ring on. Thank you very much to all our subscribers, followers, viewers and friends who continue to support the channel by liking and sharing and subscribing please don't forget to share this to all your friends or up-and-coming collectors so that we can continue to expand our little knowledge for beginners and hopefully for those who are just trying to refresh their memories of why they fell in love with this hobby. Okay guys, this is Chris Croyd saying bye for now and we will see you in the next one next week. Same time, same channel. Take care. Bye.